Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Witness. We're in the midst of trying to figure out what to do next, because we are completely stumped as to how to figure out the island puzzle. Not the island puzzle, the little desert puzzles. We don't know what to do there. But we did find a few more of these little obelisk bits. Wait a minute. If you remember last episode, we solved one that looked like this. And we saw another one that looked like one of these horizontal ones. But, none of these are lit up. Is there another obelisk? Wait, is there an obelisk that corresponds to each different area? If there is, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What are we going to do about that? Hey, it's a little lantern. Wait a minute. No way. No fucking way. Okay, do we need to get up somewhere high and use this as a circle? Is this a circle? Is this is that where it starts? Oh no. Ah. Uh, I'm at a loss, man. I'm so at a loss. There's no map. As expected. Is that a windmill? Can we solve this yet? Oh, this looks relatively easy. It's all mechanics we know. Whoa, where am I going? Where am I going? Let's... Let's do this first. Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh. Uh. It's going the other direction, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? So I have to decide which direction to spin this windmill? Is that... Is that what I do? But it doesn't sound like it's running. Let's send it back in the other direction. So I guess the other direction stops it. This starts it. But why would I ever want to stop it? Alright, let's just go down. We'll come back and check on that later. Where the hell am I going? Okay, I'm, I'm a little creeped out. Take it slow. Don't want to get killed by anything on a deserted island. Just when I thought this world was big enough, it gets bigger. It's pink over there. Is there another path on top? There's a window. Oh, and there's the hexagonal thing. So we know how to solve this. Maybe. We need to segregate. We need to segregate these guys. There we go. Segregation at its finest. What is this, the beginner's guide? It's a theater. And a few more doors. How do these triangle things work? But they're white triangles. Oh, there's... That's, that's wholly incorrect. I don't, I don't know what those triangles are. I don't know what these squares are either. 
So if I just... No. I'll have to come back to this part later. What the... Oh? It's another one of these. Interesting. Well... That's strange. And there's a path up there too, is what it looks like. So let's see if we can remember this. Yeah. Wait. Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? Excuse me? So, in the end, have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did that's of any use to us in our future? Something, I think. That the key to why things change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread? And that in the past, the people who made change happen were the people who had that knowledge, whether they were craftsmen or kings. Today, the people who make things change, the people who have that knowledge, are the scientists and the technologists who are the true driving force of humanity. And before you say, what about the Beethovens and the Michelangelos? Let me suggest something with which you may disagree violently. That at best, the products of human emotion, art, philosophy, politics, music, literature, are interpretations of the world that tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Second-hand views of the world made third-hand by your interpretation of them. Things like that, as opposed to this. Know what it is? It's a bunch of amino acids. The stuff that goes to build up a, a worm, or a geranium, or you. Me. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. Got people in it. This scientific knowledge is hard to take because it removes the reassuring crutches of opinion, ideology, and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away those crutches is because, thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much, and that if they are to have more say in what happens to their lives, more freedom to develop their abilities to the full. They have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean give everybody a computer and say, help yourself. Where would you even start? No, I mean trying to find ways to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communications technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before. Or, if that's not done, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognize within yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there, as long as it's explained clearly enough. And then go and ask for explanations. And if you're thinking right now, what do I ask for? Ask yourself if there's anything in your life that you want changed. That's where to start. Uh, um... This is the rewind button? Holy... Huh. 
This this looks like a circle. I'm distrusting of everything in this game. Um, also, what the fuck was that? Did I just get lectured by James Burke in the middle of this game? Did I just learn, kind of, sort of, who James Burke is? I think so. God, this game is bizarre. Well, I don't know what to do down here. Uh, since I don't know how to solve the puzzles that it's presenting me with, I will go back upstairs. And... Windmill's still going, okay. Wait a minute. Yeah. So, windmill. Windmill equals puzzle. Let us... D um... What the fuck? So we need to wait till the windmill passes a certain location. Wait a minute. Let's do it here. All right. No, no, no. Let me off. And then now we do what? Or is this the end? There was another obelisk solution. And I see two more, actually. Holy shit, this looks cool! I want to explore this! But there's two more obelisks. Obelisk, uh, obelisk solutions to be had here on this windmill. I must have them! And unfortunately, we have to wait for <laughs> another revolution. So... Yeah. And I have a feeling this black mark here on the ground is also something... I mean, there's no way it's not, right? Good lord, this game. I don't know. I don't know how to handle it. Let me off. Good. So we need to jump the gap for this next one. Why doesn't it move quicker? Can I make it move quicker? That would be nice. We'll test that out after I get this next solution going. No! You didn't let me off. Alright. I am on this now. Oh no! It didn't let me off! Is this gonna... Well, that's not nice. I've already done this solution. I've already done this solution! You're gonna make me s stick to it? You're gonna make me stick to my guns here? That's not cool! We're gonna have to wait again. Honestly, I might just fast forward through this situation. All right, we're gonna try from this distance now. Maybe this will give us exactly what we need. All right, well, I'm done with that for now. I feel like I just wasted a ton of time. Yeah, there's... this has to be something. How do I get a view of it? Do I need to get on top of that tower? All right, looks like we have another tutorial thing here. Um, Maybe it's not a tutorial thing. Because I'm a little confused as to what I needed to do. Obviously that wasn't it. That wasn't it either. 
I don't know. Let's uh let's keep moving. What? What are you? What are you? I have no clue. I have no clue. Should I even be here right now? Alright, so here's this. So, with this angle I can trace all the way... Where did that go? Huh. So, I guess I was right, there are multiple obelisks? All right, great. Great, um. Oh no, where am I now? What is this? This looks like. What? What? Something. There's got to be something around here that, that tells me the solution. Where does this even go? This goes out there somewhere. But what is this? Nice babbling brook over there. What's this pole? What are these orange things? Okay, these orange things, I guess, are nothing. So... I feel like it has something to do with this thing, but... How do I... I can't duck. I can't do anything other than move. So, this is about as much as I can use it. And I'm using the, the word use in a very um, loose manner. Because I'm not exactly using this thing. You know what I'm saying? Unless I can get behind- I cannot get behind it. Maybe I need to be further out. Maybe- maybe I have to open it- open that door somehow. With- with this particularly complicated looking puzzle. Okay, I don't even- I don't even know. There's a door right here that's opened with that switch inside. And another switch up there that opens something over here. Some very strange architecture. There's another flower here. And now I am wondering about the flowers and the meaning of the flowers and what the flowers are, what, what they do, what kind of magic they possess, what kind of ridiculous properties I should expect from them. Where? Huh. And then what's the point of this area? There's a there's a point to everything. I know there is. I just know it. That's locked to locked, locked, locked. Another symmetry puzzle? Okay, we need to match the horizon, I think. Match the horizon. Or match match the line right there, and then we can... Frame this? Am I framing it correctly? 
Wait a minute. So if I if I do it like this. This one's rough. I don't Wait, palm trees. Palm trees? Palm trees. I think it's the trees. It's gotta be the trees. So I had the wrong trees. So here we go. This one. This one's it. I'm confident in this one. Uh, down. What did we do? What did we open? This area, I believe, is beyond, beyond me right now. I don't know anything here. I, I don't know anything here. So what if I just go back in this direction? Maybe we can find our way back somewhere. Okay, this has got to be something, right? How is that not something? There it is. Where did that go? Which, I don't think I found that obelisk. But we did make our way back to the ruined tractor. We know where we are now. We know where we are now. We're back here. No way. Um... Are you kidding me? Holy shit. It's a circle. The washing machine was a circle. It was a circle the whole time. So we line this up. You crazy ass washing machine. I believe there's another avenue over here. But maybe not over here. These obelisks, man. What the fuck? It's so weird. So, there should be one here. Maybe? No. I thought I had something. I thought I had something. Maybe I do, though. Maybe I do. If I go down here, if I go down, around, up, down, to downtown. I'm just saying words now. Oh, no, wait. I need to be over here. No, I don't think I'm high enough. Now there's that peninsula. That's what the peninsula was. This, uh, this, this little slit right here is absolutely not what I thought it was. But it's gotta be something. We can't worry about that now. We we don't I don't see anything here. But I thought this would connect up here and maybe go somewhere else. But you know what? I guess maybe the rest of the markings on that roof are just for misdirection. Which I guess would make sense. It, it, you got to make it look sort of sort of realistic. You know what I mean? But there's got to be something else. This crazy roof has got to be home to some other crazy secrets, right? 
Right? I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be anything. I don't think there's a way up there. I'm still confused by that guy right over there. I don't know what it is. How to solve it, what to do with it. Did I find something? Can I... Oh, oh, this is my way under the roof. Okay. Okay. I see your game. I don't... I don't... There's something here. These pots. What are you doing to me? I'm so paranoid. Okay, that was... that was absolutely nothing. What? Touch them all. Touch them. Touch. 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 That one is elevated, by the way. And I'm not... I have no clue why. These windows. Okay, so... Something's here. Something. Something is here. I know it. I know. Just watching me... Just single-mindedly just go after these puzzles. I don't know if it's the most interesting thing in the world, and I'm sorry. But I'm consumed. I'm consumed by the possibilities. And I think I'm gonna... Here's another one of these weird triangles? I hear something humming. It's so weird. This game is just... It's tripping me out. I don't know... what to expect from any of it. I hear strange humming. And I know it means something. I just don't know what. I see that, that pot that's lifted off slightly from the rest of the pots. And I know that it has some sort of significant meaning because I'm able to touch it with my touchy, touchy point thing. There's another flower here. Those, those flowers are confusing me as well. Okay, the glowing is probably just these, these wires. Seriously, what the hell is this? You know, we'll come back to that some other time. We will come back here to, I guess... I guess we'll call our little hub area? This is what we know. This is what we're safe with. There's a very, very peculiar set of trees here that... Again, I'm, I'm paranoid about. I feel like it's gotta be something. And speaking of trees...
One of these has got to be right, right? It's a simple binary tree. We can solve it with brute force. You know, I shouldn't even be doing this. There's a solution somewhere. I know there is. There's something somewhere that will tell me exactly how to s solve this. Really? Wait a minute. Oh, it's right there. That's... It's a clever game. It's clever. But, we are out of time. So we're gonna have to come back and, uh, solve these on the next episode. Now that we know what the solution to these puzzles are. Or at least this one. <laughs> There's gonna be plenty more for us to learn throughout our journey. But I will see you on the next episode.